right, we're here with Pat Rizzo, and it's the day after the uh, Olympic marathon trials where you placed uh, 13th and you ran a 2.13.42. Tell us a little bit about your race and what your goals were going into it. Um, my goals were kind of dynamic. I wanted a top 15 place. Top 10 would have been excellent. I uh, wanted a new PR, but 212 would have been absolutely ideal. So that was kind of what I trained toward was being able to compete, mix it up in the top 10 on an ideal day and be able to run about a 212 on an ideal day. And uh, you know, as just as the race unfolded, I was a little bit conservative at the start, which was the plan. And uh, actually I was a little bit aggressive from what the plan was supposed to be, but it was still more conservative than I was in shape for. And that turned out to be the smartest plan we could have had is I was able to basically even split my way through but I was probably about 40th, 45th place halfway and was able to come in at 13th. So between guys dropping out and guys just dropping. Did you like the uh, did you like the looped course or? I liked the loop course. It was actually more fun than I expected. Yeah. Uh, I had done the looped course at Guadalajara and it was a 10k loop and it was like just mind numbing because you're just out and back on the same road. Here we were at least a nice round loop so we got to change it up a little bit but crowd support was awesome. Even in the couple sections where it was a little bit thin on crowd support, everyone who was there was 100% into it. So uh, There was a lot of energy around there but you know it ultimately it was about the competition that was just so great. Everyone brought their A games and went in and took some risks. How did you uh, prepare leading into the race? Did you uh, back your training down at all? or? Not a whole ton. Um, the past week I backed down, but really I stayed pretty high mileage through the Pan Am games and coming right off of them I was still 120 to 140 miles a week like right off the bat. Stayed that way till about two weeks to go and back down to about 110 and then this week was just whatever you gotta do to get to the start line. So I don't even know what I hit this week, probably like 70 miles including the race. Um, where do you see yourself uh, going this spring? Are you gonna do some track races or what kind of stuff um, are you gonna... This track, or this spring, yeah, I'm looking at the track a little bit get some of the speed down before I hop into another marathon training block. Uh, this being just a double build up, doing two marathons in three months. Put a lot of strain on the body and I think I just need a little bit of lower mileage, higher intensity time here. So I'm going to spend a few months doing some shorter stuff, doing some faster stuff. Uh, there's talk about a couple of other races on the road but nothing marathon wise. So I'm thinking probably fall marathon or even summer marathon wouldn't be bad depending on where it's at. All right, well, great job uh, yesterday and good luck this spring. Thank you very much.